What's up Huskies, it's Clay the Gamer here, aka your host The Claimer, bringing you guys a tips and tricks video for Call of Duty Ghosts today, where I'm going to be teaching you guys all the things that you need to know about how to get a KEM strike, aka the chem strike. It's a 25 gun streak or 24 if you're using hardline, just like the Moab or the tactical nuke. I do my best to get them and try to get you guys tips and tricks and information on how to get them yourselves. I'll be uploading chem strikes all throughout the lifespan of Call of Duty Ghosts, just like I did with MW3 with Moabs. I didn't actually upload around the time when Call Duty, when Modern Warfare 2 was out, so I didn't do the same thing with nukes. But I digress. We are going to get into the tips as of right now. I did actually get this chem strike in the video that you're seeing right now the day after Black uh, Call of Duty Ghosts was released. So this was on, I think, November the 5th it came out. So the November the 6th, I did get the game a bit early, so I did sort of have a little bit of an edge. But the tips I'm going to tell you guys in this video are going to help you so that you also have a little bit of an edge over your opponent in uh, when you're going for these KEM strikes. First of all, the maps are way too big, so if you want to run, if you're more of like the rushing kind of player, you want to save the rushing type uh, of playstyle, I guess, for the smaller maps, maybe like Strike Zone, Warhawk, Octane, any of the other smaller maps there that uh, actually have very small choke points and where you can run around and sort of just constantly reload and just spray people down get to other choke points and uh so on and so forth but yeah uh save the rushing basically is my main tip for the small to medium sized maps many of the maps in this game are very very big so what you want to do is basically try to stick around the edges of the maps also i want to mention really quickly play game modes that last around 10 minutes or more like domination blitz if you have a party of six can also last a very long time um, but don't play game modes like TDM or free for all because they don't allow you uh, enough time to go for multiple attempts. So if you die the first time at like an 18 kill streak, your chances are that your team is already going to bring you to halfway point in kills. So unless you're going to go really, really ham in the next half of the kills and you get every single kill after that, there's a very small chance that you will be able to get the chem strike afterwards. So my best advice uh, is probably play game modes that last a long time. So you have very many attempts uh at least more than one attempt at getting it if you are on a high streak the first time and you die uh also i wanted to mention again go going back to playing around the edges of the maps uh playing on larger maps such as whiteout try to stay around the edges of the maps pick off people that are running to objectives running in between point to point in the middle of the map i want to mention also the probably the best game mode if you want to get a chem strike in this game and if you can run a six-man party at all times is blitz just because the spawns in blitz are horrific the spawn trapping in blitz is that of like demolition in black ops 2 where you end uh, black ops 1 where you could just literally look at a spawn point they would spawn there even if you're ads and it would just be like free kills constantly they couldn't do anything it's pretty ridiculous i've gotten a chem strike i think in like two minutes on um the map uh freight it was called uh, on blitz and yeah it's pretty ridiculous you could get a uh, really really easy chem strikes if you have a six-man party and you know what you're doing uh getting to the best guns in my opinion to getting the chem strike or personally i think Probably the best guns in this game right now are the assault rifles. There's really no need at all to run a SMG if you have Stalker on an assault rifle. It's basically the same thing. Although I, I will mention running Stalker on an assault rifle does kind of mess up your shot on guns or on classes where you don't have Stalker. So uh, it's up to you whether you do it or not. Uh, also, but yeah, uh, my my favorite two guns for getting the chem strike so far have been the AK-12 silenced and extended mags. I don't run grip on it anymore just because that thing has like little to no recoil even without grip. So it's pretty damn good. And also the honey badger. Everyone's freaking like crazy over the honey badger since the game came out. It's a really good gun. It's crazy accurate. You could use red dot if you like it or not. Uh, I really, I kind of like the iron sights. So... I don't really like using the red dot too much just because I feel like it's a waste of an attachment, but red dot is a very good attachment on it just because the iron sights aren't that great. But if you can get used to them, then I would definitely recommend using iron sights and grip. Uh, again, though, the recoil is pretty decent without grip, so you might want to use other attachments instead of that. Those are just my two sort of uh, setups there. 
Also, when trying to stay around the edges of the maps, I would recommend don't constantly stay in the same spots of the sort of edges, if you know what I'm if you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes I'll be around the edges of the maps picking off a bunch of people, and then all of a sudden, like, three guys will rush me when I'm reloading, and I'll die. So, if you can constantly move around the edges and uh, constantly switch sort of spots that you're getting kills from, that also helps. I can't tell you how many times I've died on, like, huge streaks just by staying in one spot, or I'll get too over-eager. I'll be, like, too away from the chem strike, and then I'll just run into a spawn and die it's happened like i think at least five times since the game came out and that's might not seem like a long time but the game's only been out for like two weeks so in my opinion that's five more chem strikes that i could have had that i don't have now so don't run into spawns and try to stay away from the uh enemy team as much as possible unless you're playing on like strike zone or something and you want to rush into their faces and just like destroy them also i would really recommend using specialists as i said earlier the specialist perk setup is uh much more useful because having the right perk setup can get you like a lot faster more durable and strong whereas like running assault or uh, support you're you're staying with the same core perks throughout your entire streak so uh whereas it's spe when specialists you have like these little like bonuses like in case you run out of ammo like when you're on like a five kill streak you you randomly will get scavenger or you'll get like sleight of hand to reload faster it's like those little things really help you a lot depending on what kind of setup you have so personally what i'm running in this video where i get the chem strike is the ak-12 with the silencer and grip although i did say i don't really run grip anymore this was kind of around the first one this was actually the first chem strike i got so i didn't actually know that grip was not that great on the ak-12 at the time but i'm running ready up which lets you i think aim faster um after sprint also dead silence which is really key in this game just because people can hear you from miles away in this game sound whoring is a really really big factor in the half of the deaths that you get if you don't run it and hardline just because i'm a little bit greedy like that i kind of like having my uh, off the grid perk a little bit earlier just because uh, i run off the grid first of all uh, on my first perk in specialist because the chances are um people aren't gonna get a satcom early on into the game unless someone gets like a random triple kill early on or like uh, a really nice like like i don't know two or three piece early so i run off the grid first because by the time i get off the grid someone might get, may get a satcom and that keeps me uh off their radar i also run dead eye dead eye is freaking amazing it is probably like the best perk in this game just because it gives your bullets more damage as you're getting more kills so it basically promotes you to do better as you're already doing well which is crazy i also run scavenger just because it's kind of annoying having to pick up guns that you don't like from other teammates or from enemies sometimes people will put like acog on smgs i don't even know why you put acog on a gun to begin with that let alone an smg maybe it's for like a challenge or something and then Stalker as my last specialist perk. My bonus at uh, 13 kills, I think it is, or 11 kills, is uh, Amplify, which lets me hear people with dead silence a lot louder. You might want to run that earlier on if you're not so comfortable with uh, running it later uh, like I am. I run ICU, which uh, helps. I think it gives your health re regeneration, uh, or it makes your health regenerate faster, which is definitely, like, uh, it's really helpful in situations where you're getting, like, pinned down, and then you're already at, like, flashing red, and then someone uh, shoots you, your health, or sorry, when you're flashing red, and then you regenerate, and then you can easily come back up and try to challenge their gunfight. Um, I also run, I think it's Tac Mask and Blast Shield in this game. Those are also two really good perks that I would recommend running in your specialist bonus setup. Um, definitely, if you don't like those things, the, those perks though, there's always another way that you could run it. Uh, it's really just all about what your preferences are. So don't let my sort of setup be your guide or don't let my setup restrain you. Definitely just go try to figure out whatever you're comfortable with and use that to your advantage. And finally, some smaller side tips to sort of keep in mind are always focus on your sensitivity. If you don't have the the a good sensitivity you're probably not going to have as great of a shot and if you miss shots you miss kills people can outgun you and you'll die on streaks that shit happens too much so i recommend definitely try to figure out your sensitivity your button layout all that sort of stuff before you actually try and go for these kind of kill streaks some people run the highest sensitivity just because they think it's the best way to sort of react fast but really um running lower sensitivities does help a lot because it keeps your aim a lot better uh, or a lot more accurate so that you don't miss shots and you can secure kills when uh normally you wouldn't be able to just because your crosshairs will be bouncing around all over the place uh also button layout if you haven't learned like how to drop shot with using default layout uh or tactical layout it's a lot easier than when using default default you have to hold circle to drop shot whereas tactical both um your 
soldier guys movement controls are on both the analog six so it's a lot easier to use tactical button layout in my opinion and i'm pretty sure a lot of people will, will agree with me on that uh, map awareness just basically you want to constantly be looking at the radar every like two or three seconds pay attention to your mini map check out where your team is where the enemies are where your team is dying and always communicate with your team make call outs if you're in a party that always helps because you never know when someone spawns behind you a teammate finds out and then it sucks when your teammate doesn't tell you but uh you know that stuff sort of happens anyways but anyways those are my tips and tricks for how to get a chem strike hopefully these tips and tricks will help you guys get chem strikes and i would be definitely i will definitely be posting more and more chem strikes as call of duty ghost progresses uh thank you so much for watching the video my name is clayton the gamer please do leave a like rating if you did enjoy it leave a comment asking any questions i'll be happy to help you if i haven't uh, already answered the question in the video also feel free to subscribe to become a member of the husky empire and i'll see you huskies next time thanks so much for watching bye bye and get husky woof woof